This is Minnie and Miss Stout here today. We're gonna be making an Alma Thomas inspired abstract watercolor artwork today. You're gonna be using patterns and shapes which are part of our elements of art. So what you're gonna need today is watercolors, uh, paper that technically a watercolor paper would be best, but if you don't have watercolor paper, you can use other papers as well. They just, the colors don't usually turn out as great but let's get started. You're going to get all your art supplies ready, and here we go. So first we're going to be using a pencil, but I'm gonna use a crayon today as I'm drawing my background, so in my landscape. So this is gonna be my guidelines, and then we're gonna be doing the Elma Thomas style inside of these lines. So first you're going to make this cool wavy line for your water. And then I'm gonna make some mountains in the background like this. But really you can use any kind of landscape that you like. I'm gonna do a nice circle to create my sun. All right, so I'm gonna be using a paintbrush. Uh, a lot of times you can use a square paintbrush to kind of mimic her patterns that she would made. They were very uh, square-like or rectangular shapes. So I'm gonna just use this paintbrush today. I do have a square one. I will use it at times, but I'm gonna start by making just these crazy awesome dashes around my sun. And then as I go out, I'm gonna change up my colors. Remember the warm colors are red, orange, and yellow. So I'm gonna switch to my orange now. And I'm gonna make them going in different directions. Now Alma doesn't always do it this way, but I'm gonna do it a little bit different, but inspired by her dashes. And then my yellow, making them a little longer. 